guys, we just came back from listening to Loving You by Sister New East Aaron, Music Access. You're listening to our Thursday Corner, All That Star with Kuhn. And today's stars are Sister and Girls Day. So Kuhn, you prefer some details on their similarities and differences, right? Yes, I have. Oh, before that, actually, we have a few messages for you, Kuhn. Oh, really? This is right. Oh, really? All right, Samantha from Australia wrote, Good day, Kuhn. How are things going with you? Hope your week has been great. My week has been pretty good so far. Loving kisses from Oz. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oh, is that is that what Oz is that what it stands for, Ozzy? Yeah, I think so. Oz. Oh, Ozzy's. Actually, Samantha sent me a message earlier earlier about um some Australian slang. And, oh, really? And there was one that I saw. Uh, like, what do you guys say for cookies? Cookies. I have no idea. There, there was there was cookies. one. Cookies. Yeah, there was munchies. No, no, uh, not munchies. Uh, there was, there was, ah, uh, there was one. Um, hold on, guys. Let me look for it real quick, guys. I'll give you five seconds. Hold on, five, guys. Four, All right. three, All right. two, yes. Aaron's Aussie slang lesson number four. Bicky, biscuit, Bicky. Yeah, Bicky. it's a, yeah, it's a short term for it. I think. I think. Ocker. Unsophisticated man, bogan. Bogan, I don't know, bogan. Bogan, yes. Car- <laughs> I used to use use that word a lot. Car- carket, which means you're dead. You are dead. Carket. Carket. Cark it. Mm, she must be from the country. <laughs> <laughs> Good on ya. Good on ya. Good on ya, mate. No worries. Ocker, bogan, Bicky. Yeah, I used Perfect. to use that word a lot. Bogan. Bogan. Unsophisticated man. <laughs> you bogan. <laughs> you bogan. Is that really what it means, though? Yeah, bogan. Okay. It's just a slang, but they use it a lot. I used to use it a lot. Oh. Yeah. What about this? Boggin? Boggin. Boggin. Eating food with enthusiasm. Is that right? Oh, I thought it meant oh, it's a bargain as in it's I'm, cheap. Oh, oh maybe. maybe. <laughs> anyway. Cap- Captain Cook. Captain Cook. Means to have a look. Third word, Dunny. Dunny. The Loo. Oh, the Loo. The Loo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Johnny, the Dunny. Uh, Duvalaki. 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 Means we use this word when we can't remember the name of something. Duvalaki. Duvalaki. I have no, I don't know where she's from, but. Mozzie. Mozzie, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Yes. <laughs> I got three right. <laughs> All right, interesting. Anyway, Samantha, thank you for the <laughs> Thank message. you, Samantha. Thank yes. you for your slangs. And one more. We have another message. You want to read it up for us, Q? Haru from Japan. Mm-hmm. Your mustache have backed or, you I mean, gone away. I can't see it clearly. Aaron, please upload a photo with Kim later. Kim, please buy an Australian souvenir for me when you go there. Ha ha. Mm. Uh, you you told us you shaved before you went to Busan, right? I had to. Because of the fashion show. It, it actually looks pretty good. It's only fresh. been three days, guys. Wow. So, oh, man. I'm a man. <laughs> but definitely, Haru, um, if I do go to Australia, I will definitely buy you a souvenir gift. Yes. Yes. Probably a kangaroo. A kangaroo. A kangaroo doll. The kangaroos are really cute. Very cute. They're very cute. Mm. But I think if I, if I kicked, out, kicked by one, like it would hurt a lot. Yes. <laughs> actually... They use their um, arms a lot. Oh, they're like boxers. They kind of, yeah. Yeah. That's why it's called boxing kangaroos. Right. They're, they're called boxing kangaroos. Oh, because they box. Yeah, when they fight, fight they, go, they go on their tail. Right. And they box <gasps> with their short arms. Dude, that's so cute. Fights the animals. That's, right, that's very cute. But generally, they're cute. Have you ever been attacked by a kangaroo before? I haven't been attacked, but... Have you seen a kangaroo attack someone before? Yeah. <gasps> Not attack someone, but fight each other. Oh. Then they're feisty. When they get angry, you know, mm, you wouldn't want to go near them. Kangaroos, <laughs> mean but animals. But they're cute. They're All cute. Right. So let's move on to the similarities and differences mm, for our okay. groups now. So go ahead. Yes. Firstly, <clears throat> it's the similarity. They both have this working very hard in order to succeed. Mm. It's if. Sister has a persistent boss who would do anything to make a name of all his management artists. Wow. Girls Day has a leader who would sacrifice pretty much anything in order to promote her group. Mm. Sister's management group, Starship Entertainment's boss, Kim Shi De, has the ability and the eagle eye of drawing out a star's inner charm and skills, mm. even when others are doubting against him. Mm. His first successful product was a ballad singer, K. Will. Yeah. Yes, we all know K. Will. Yeah. <laughs> K was started as an unknown singer, but since the appearance of Girls' Generation Judy in his music video, right. his duet with Girls' Generation Tiffany, and featuring in Jay Park's songs, 
Topping it off with special idol guest stages, right. K-Will started gaining many teen fans. Mm. President Kim also helped the former idol Eun ji to become a hip-hop artist. Right. And even alongside K-Will and sister, he put the finishing touch to the success of Mad Clown and Jeonggi Go. Mm. Amazing, man. Top. Anyway, yes. on the <laughs> other hand, when you search Mina on the search engine, yeah. if you search it up, Macro Dance pops up next to her name. Right. Macro dance. Macro dance. <laughs> it's a dance where you vigorously pump your chest towards the sky. Right. Mm. The only reason why Mina danced the macro dance was to make a name of Girls' Day. Right. As they were very unknown when they were ro- rookies. Right. Thanks to the macro dance, people started to recognize Girls' Day. But every upside has a downside. And she had a tough time dealing with anti fans, leaving harsh comments as they thought she was overreacting. Mm. However, which guy fan would dislike Girls' Day now? I'm yes. sure there aren't any girl fans who dislike them either. Mm. I like Girls' Day. <laughs> yes. But have you actually seen the macro dance? No. It's, it's, it's quite funny, funny yeah. I gotta check it out, actually. I saw it once, but she did it when she was like, as a rookie, to mm. promote to promote Girls' Day, but... I think I know you what you might be talking about. Yeah, yeah. I think I know. Anyway... <clears throat> I check it out but yes any more differences or similarities we got one more secondly it's the similarity in having no mysticism mm. not only girl g- group management companies but idols themselves tend to like being mystic and secretive mm. I totally agree with that yes <laughs> however both sister and girls day members are all down to earth and easy going mm. for example Hedy announced a relations with, relationship with original idol Tony Ahn of H.O.T. Remember uh, that? Yes. Overcoming a 16 year age gap. This would have been impossible if it was some other girl group member. Yeah. Also, Sojin's age is 29. Yeah. 29. 30 tomorrow. And much to everyone's surprise, she's the first one to tell her age to the public out of all the members without any shame or hesitation. Mm. On the other hand, Sister is in the same league as Girls' Day when it comes to being cool mm. as Soyu recently came out on a variety show where she pretty much inhaled spicy chicken feet mm. not pretending to be a koi no. even Hyorin made the headlines as being an easy going person as a senior singer Pek ji mm. said once on a radio that Hyorin is one of the few junior colleagues who she personally likes wow wow interesting mm. I got a question for you Aaron yes which type of girl do you like? Um, a girl that's very shy and a bit of a coy, or the total opposite? Very outgoing, active, mm. down to earth, <clears throat> very truthful, and a bit mm. blunt at times, you know? So when we're together in public, like kind of like a, like a coy, mm. shy girl, but when we're alone, <laughs> active. Feisty. Feisty. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Oh, okay. I'm just playing, guys. No, no, I like... Or you prefer the, the shy, quiet, I think, girlish, you know, sassy. I think, I think a good mix of both. Good mix. Yeah, I, I think that's all guys... Like fantasy. Ideal. Yeah. Right. But if I had to choose one, like, which I like better, mm-hmm. I'm not sure, guys, to be honest. I think just being in the middle is the right mix for me, so... It's been pretty. It's been pretty <laughs> and nice and real. Yes. Down to earth and pretty and hot. Like <laughs> Anyways, a, guys. Which equals a perfect girl. Yes. We're, we apologize, guys. So mm. let's move on, guys. <laughs> so we've been getting a lot of messages from our listeners about why they like Sister or why they like Girls' Day. So should we read them out? Yes. You can go first. Okay. We have <clears throat> Hemavathi yeah. from India. I am Hema from Bangladesh, India. I love Sister. Mm. And they're the best in their own way. It's sister style. I mm. like the themes of their songs. I like the dance moves and I f- feel it's very very different. Mm. It's like the sister way. Right. When they're on the stage, they fire up the stage. I like how all four fit together for a beautiful combination. No, no, no. Jun Choi from Korea wrote, I am Jun from Korea. Hi, Hi Ami. Hope you're having a great day. I like Girls' Day. I like the cute dances, and OMG, they're ego. They're also like a chameleon. Mm. They have their special charms, and have a nice day, I don't need. Alright, 1-1, one, oh, one. yes. You enjoy. We have Maddie from Singapore. <clears throat> I like how they have that youthful and bubbly energy, and yet channel that really sexy charm on stage. 
Just curious, Aaron and Kyun, did you guys watch Reckless Family featuring Yura and Minyoung? I'm assuming she's talking about Girls Day because Yura's name came out. Oh. But yes, my member actually, Minyoung, he actually shot. Yeah, the yeah, sitcom. you told me the Reckless like Family. That was it a sitcom? Yeah, a sitcom. Mm. Sorry, yeah. I haven't watched it. Yeah, Maddie. I haven't, I haven't watched, watched too much it. to be honest, <laughs> either, guys. I only watched some of the episodes, but it's pretty funny. Mm. Uh, but yes. Um, I did watch it, and I'm assuming it's two for a girls' day, one for sisters. Two, so. two, one. One more message. <clears throat> Go ahead, Keep Jez it. from Malaysia. I like sister, especially sister nineteen. Mm, oh, there, that's it, my boy. <sighs> uh, he <dubs> my <laughs> boy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and gone not around any longer. Yeah. So one for sister. Okay, so it's two to two. So it's, it's a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. Today. It's a toy. It's That's a toy, good. guys. Thank God it's a toy. Bloody yard, guys. <laughs> so, Star and Star today, guys. Today stars our sister and girls' day. So, why don't we listen to a song before we move on to part three? K pop star interview for for for, 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 today. for, 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 for today. For, for, for today. For today. For today. Junior. Here is Kidehe by Girls', girls day. day. Yeah. <laughs> 